welcome back to the final episode of Tunic. I'm Dear Darling and let's go explore the land in our grand adventure where we'll be reading through the translated manual of Tunic, which now we've basically done, I think, everything in this game. Let me even unplug my Steam controller, that's how done we are with it. Um, yeah, so we've 100%ed the game as to a reasonable extent. We, we've done all the achievements, um, we've, I, I think, uncovered all the secrets. I, I don't know, there might be more, and in which case people will tell me in the comments and it probably won't get featured on an episode so i apologize about that but this is like the final episode i plan to record of tunic i'm not going to be doing any challenge runs or anything like that sorry i should have adjusted for stuff beforehand um but yeah this is just sort of like an epilogue to tie everything together to be like what was actually the proper story which was going on um we have a general idea where there was like some someone in the past wanted to get like magic from the crystals i can't really remember and then like now is the endless cycle of heirs having to defeat the heirs upon heir to heirs and getting sealed away to like contain the power or something um i should have probably just had tunic on in the background so you can have that background music but instead we're just going to do this in silence i guess um no i'll, I'll, I'll open up tunic again um just so just so uh you uh, i'll make sure to turn off it visually just so you can hear the tunic um instrumental music i suppose of login screen right <laughs> oh no you can't because if i click off it it goes right well you know tunic you've done this to yourself quit <laughs> um but yeah i'm just gonna be reading for it and we're just gonna basically be commenting commenting and saying about what happens uh this one is i've taken from book.tunic.wiki uh which is where i got the clean version for uh when i was translating the language as well but this is a cleaned up version of the actual translated thing so hopefully it'll be a lot easier to read so yeah, page one. Um, the title page, Secret Legend, Tunic Secret Legend. I don't don't really know if there's much to say here. Um, I don't think this has anything apart from the softest feather corrected 11 times, departed once more. <laughs> I don't know if your apostrophes mean anything in particular, but there you go. Uh, table of contents. See, I don't remember what um, is hidden and what was not because this is so clean. I mean, I can sort of see because this is like too crisp. This is far shore praying. I think cards. I think those are the only ones which were translated. So nothing out of the ordinary here. But here we go. Story. A long, long time ago, there lived a civilization of great power. They built a city, and within that city, they built a palace. They held sacred the secrets of the Holy Cross and understood the planar nature reality. Ah, so we sort of like broke the four four. They knew, they knew the existence of us, kind of. They ventured to the far shore and sought power from the spaces between. As is usual, an alluring old power was dis discovered. Fossils of self and the old visions of a future, entombed and cast into sarcophagi and buried. A, a lever in the canonical plane, a store of potential, perhaps it is the fabled prize, the power to defy death. So these are talking about the monoliths, which contained fossils of self and the old visions of a I don't know what any old even means, hold on define annealed heated and allowed to cool slowly in order to remove internal stresses and make it easier to work with sure um entombed and cast into sarcophagi and buried yeah okay so these were sarcophagus we, we knew they were like tombstone graves but we also knew they were being used as a power source a lever in the canonical plane which i guess is like the, the, the physical realm um a store of potential so as a battery perhaps to Perhaps it's the fable rides power to try death. Okay. Terrible power rises. The discovering hero opened a tomb and revealed a terrible truth. A cathedral was built to venerate the, this new origin of life, and the faithful were granted the grace of holy oblivion. So, so they created the cathedral. The, the, the hero, the, the original hero, who discovered, opened, opened a tomb, discovered truth. No, they didn't build the cathedral. The cathedral already existed. They just discovered it and they discovered the zombie people who were granted a mortal life by worshipping, I guess. The world is thrown into ruin. The lever overworked. The fulcrum shattered. A hole in the truth will thunder open and all manner of disquiet contradictions will gnaw apart the canonical plane. The thread is snagged into a squirming coil with no beginning and no end. Flee to your ark, arcs, old ones, and become your predestined selves. I don't even know what that means. So it is literally a lever. A lever in the canonical plane. Okay. Prison and beacon. But one must live outside the shivering ring. The air seeking and air to the air. A beacon to bring about a ruin seeker. To either grow strong and replace an ailing air, or to hold sacred holy cross and ensure their wisdom lives on. 
So if this is either someone to be strong enough to defeat the heir who is dying to be the new sort of like bearer of a burden, I suppose, or to unlock the secrets of Holy Cross to ensure the wisdom lives on, which is the sleeflet, awaiting a worthy successor. Which will you be, ruin seeker? Have you arrived here seeking treasure and glory, or do you seek to uncover deeper truths? Look carefully, for the golden path lies everywhere. <laughs> so true, so true. The Shadow Oubliette, canonical plane. So this is where... So the, the far shore is a teleport area, I know that. The canonical plane is um, the physical realm. The Shadow Oubliette, I don't even know what that means. Coveted in a forest temple, stolen to the top of the sky, and sealed at the root of a world. Yeah, that sounds about right. Again, the same battle fought uncount uncountable times. And so the cycle continues. Rune seekers are drawn to the beacon and te rune seekers drawn to a beacon are tested. Those who abandon their quest are forgiven and simply disappear. Those who are strong enough to remember their true hero selves will. Those who are strong enough to remember their true hero selves will, through violence, begin the cycle anew. Will you be the heir to the heir and wait within the shadow Ubia? Oh, so this is the shadow Ubia at the arena. Before long, a ruin seeker will be drawn to you. The gifts will recall your past life and you will grant them the same false hope you were given. To break the curse, a ruin seeker must, by some miracle, invoke a relic from beyond this plane. So what, what, what we gave the heir, or our heir, this booklet. How do they use the booklet to, um, to restore themselves? Like, I, I don't understand what they did. <laughs> Data management. Continue new game. Options of game. Nothing seems crazy here. Harder quest. So that's new game plus. Select a file. Who's is this? That, that's a mystery golden path thing. Adjust settings to customize your play experience. Options mean you can change. You can keep playing if a challenge is too much. Right now, you are allowed. This, this was in the runic language, wasn't it? I feel like that should not have been. <laughs> People are not going to see that, I suppose. But also, you, to be fair, you do get this instruction file quite late on. Now I think about it. So, um, I think at least load file, resume data removal. Begin your adventure. Secret legend says treasure lies in a faraway land. Maybe it's a power to defy death. Why do you seek this power, tiny one? Time to begin your adventure. Here's what you'll do. Um, this is telling us what to do. In a far enough land, a great treasure is sealed away forever. Some say it's a power to defy death, but it's not. Kind of. I mean, I guess they, they are defying death. Lost? See, page 28. Ruin seeker, strange gate to far shore. Prize treasure. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Keep on stamina points to zero, you're in danger. Focus is crucial. A, a key component in us translating a language. Roll, run, talk. This button has many uses. One is secret, but if you read this book, you will learn it. One is secret. <laughs> talk. Pray. Ah, uh, pray is a secret one. Press to roll. Press and hold. So it's faster than rolling over and over. It's fantastic, by the way, they put this in this game. So many other games, the fastest way to move is going dash, 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 and then knowing <sighs> as your character runs out of like um, stamina. The fact they put this in, which doesn't cost stamina, is fantastic. And they made it also difficult to use in combat, <laughs> but not impossible. Um, so this is the focus button. Focus your adversaries. Dodge and roll while still staying ready to strike. Raise your shield. Poise and strength to perform certain actions. I'll move to stamina points in one at zero. You can still do many actions, but at disadvantage. You can always attack even without stamina. And vulnerability at the start of the dash. Check for dust. Take enough hits and you will flinch. If a hit is really big, you can even be knocked over. Hidden stability gauges at 25% of your t total HP. So, so, wait, what? I don't even know what that means, and I played this game. Take enough hits and you will flinch. So once we hit 25% HP, we start flinching. Is that what it means? Use Vigor to roll for if you, to, if you are safe for a tiny moment. It's called Vigor, not Stamina. Vigor fills more slowly. Hits will use up Vigor. Okay. No Vigor. You can only hop and are highly vulnerable. No safety, low stability, hurt more. Evade. Damage taken. Block. Stability. Special tech. Special tech. Sword. Is this a hero's blade or a forgery? Stick, just a stick. Left left by a rudeling. A rudeling? I don't even know what rudeling is. 
tunic rudling. Ghost of a soldier has fallen in the previous fight. Oh, there's little empty things. Um, defect blows, unstable powder. Made from a fairy of a west garden. Oh, okay. Made from slorm. My pudding that goes boom. Okay, yeah, but those alien creatures, right? Fire everywhere. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay, I like that. I should have translated this. I need a key to open one of rare doors. The key disappears. Eat fruits to restore HP. MP, they are gone forever, so snack sparingly. Hmm. I did so in fact too sparingly, probably. One is spicy, one is minty. Gives a boost to attacker SP. Um wait, what's it? If it's called vi okay, no, vi wait, it is called stamina points, not just vigor. Okay. Wait, is vigor different to stamina? This is vigor and this is stamina points. And what? Effigy. Betray for coins, eat betrayal is sweeter sweeter than the last. Um, and there's the ultimate betrayal where I use too many for the achievement. And Leo Donovan, beloved hero. Those will get tricked. So if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize. Don't be afraid to use them. This is what someone hinted hinted for me to you to read, I think, very early on. Which I think I already read at that point. But it was just like in a future video or something. And when I proceeded to still never use bombs. Uh, to be fair, I did use a dynamite. Use that a while to get wish faster. Uh, some items the power of your soul. Magic points are refill when you wish. There's a finite number of souls in the world. It shows use is left. Even a drop of MP is enough. Ah, cool. Holy Cross is more than a mere item. <laughs> ah. That would have been cool. See, it feels like these are things which definitely should have been hints in the game. But they're things you would never find unless you translate the language. And so most the average player will never see them as hints. But I think it's also just here to, just to build up the sort of lore of... The instructional booklet in the first place because it feels more like an instructional booklet that way and this is the stopwatch which uh, the time turner which we ended up basically never using um quaff to re restore your will to go on <laughs> one amazing word to use um find some good offer up last to make your potions more potent yeah that's what we thought we did ash of a heroes fortifies blood ash of heroes oh god Risk an, risk an offering to the air. It's a risk? That, that offering's a risk. Price goes up each time. As the shore bleeds, one of falsehoods and memories, the air hungers for reminders of a corporeal world. Offer these mementos and share a delusional power. Because that power gets stripped away. Does it actually make the boss harder if you give them more? I didn't actually know that if that's true. Pilgrims to the shore stripped of a false power. Yes, we do know that. Oh no, bad news, the rune seekers run out of health points. But wait, a strange being has come to give us another chance. It's because the, the, the air wants to be replaced, right? I guess. Such a debt is a dangerous thing to have to have. What was but is not now. What was but is not is now not. The ghost form of echo of self. Touch it to break its connections to the cycle and let it drift back to the shore. Be kind as this is your fate as well. Cards can change nature. Oh, so every time we die, it actually is theoretically a new character coming along. It's not that that's, it was like a different timeline and it's like we technically jumped to a different timeline of a hero coming back wait no that doesn't make sense because then this is saying that it's given us another chance echo of self so that's what happens i don't really understand how death works in this game canonically <laughs> you can do it future cycles look back with faith knowing the course persevere and be sure to boost your power despite the cost try to be this strong Cyan Peril Ring. Raises defense when you're in peril. Quaff potions restore mana instead of HP. Why do I love the word quaffed? <laughs> Lucky cut. Those leave he um, hearts to heal a bit rare. Actually, we, we have... This one I think I did actually work out. Muffling Bell, this one I also did work out. What, what do they all do? It's a secret. Um, change more often depending on challenge. Yeah, okay. Granting wishes require payment and further inspiration requires wishes... Those who wish enough can be formidable indeed, but to whom are you giving payment? That's a good question. I don't actually know. Choose wisely, rune seeker. Stumped, here are some clues for you to try try to help your friends if you can. I entered a temple, but it was empty. What now? Here's what here's where a rune seeker would place free keys. Whatever keys? You can't find any without prayer. Try twenty four. How do I get to a ruined atoll? Traverse the far shore with m mm and prayer. Is that what we did? I don't remember. What's the secret of a golden path? Look to the stars to, um, to page 49. The checkpoint says dead. It must see to the core. Look for a nearby. Okay, so this is like it's unpowered. Why is it mistranslated? I'm stuck. Hmm. 
What does this say? Hold on. Let, let me get my handy dandy translation guide out. And I, I will tell you what this says. I'm stuck. So this says, mm, I, I'm, it says I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, wait, so this probably wasn't there before. I see. And this is, ah, uh, this is a breakdown of what it is, I guess. Oh, this is saying explicitly the circle switches around um, the order. I didn't even realise that. <laughs> All bearing ground is too hard. Why? It's a place of despair only ghosts may enter. Ah, so if you go there accidentally while you're, while well, it's at daytime, it's like, come back when you're actually dead. What's up with a door in the mountains? All the clues you seek are here in the pages. <laughs> Quite literally. How do I defeat the air? Gather the relics on the hero's grave. That, that's when you, you're dying and you need to get your stats back. How do I open the door? Seek a holy cross. Can I back, go back to how things were? Perhaps there's always a way. Maybe it's a dream. I see. What's beyond the waterfall? Beyond the waterfall. Do you know fairies? Turn to page 47 and look carefully. What's the next piece of a puzzle? Every page has a secret, even this one. Hmm. Very explicit. How do I truly escape? Share your wisdom and break the cycle. I found a treasure. Can I see more? In my case, you know, <laughs> continue the cycle and then share your wisdom. Um, I found a treasure. Can I see more? Yes, there is a place. Nice. Do you know the secret way? Go to the door on the mountains and check behind it. Oh yes, I do, I do know this one. Uh, but this one I actually did, did discover on my own. I don't know why this is given to us so late, this entire thing, but um, because I, unless I could have got it earlier, but I felt, I felt like I ended up getting this after I found everything. To pray, be still for a moment and rest, ruin secret, press and hold space bar for a short time. Um, no holy being will ever hear you, but venerate those who give their of their core and awaken the tools of a lost age. So what do the other rune seekers do? Like who who resets all these monoliths? If like we continue the cycle, survival tips: keep an eye on your bars, your will to go on. More HP per uh, per sip. Your breath. Let me take extra damage. Some foes leave behind their soul, including that bird. That bird leaves behind so much soul. You can run. Cards. So this is just trying to give you another hint again. Rainy day. I don't know if I ever noticed this. <laughs> Special techniques. Um, roll and sword at the same time to pull a fast tap. We did. We did do this by accident. It uses stamina points. Someone has made maps of you. There are secrets hidden in them. So look carefully. You are here. And these are the secret. Uh, these are the shops. Fairies. Curious piece of a war has come to life. They seem intent on stopping you. Champignon. Always hungry. Runs fast but can't turn very quickly. Dangerous as family. Boss. Blocks away to the bell tower, will kill you. Goes to the soldier for caution why they fight. Follows orders but has no soul. Twist of Great Palace, Apple Gardens. Many paths are broken, but there is a way. Magic dagger, magic item made from a fairy. Use it to freeze foes with ice. So, is this a palace? And these are the gardens. I didn't realise this is a palace. It doesn't really. Oh, I guess this is a palace. I don't know. Ring of West Bell. Can you see if a power but not reach it? Try going to West Gardens via the dark tomb under the well. Um, flawed lair. I still don't know what this question mark is. Flawed lair beneath the surface filled with monsters. Walking water will slow you but also some foes. Watch out for lies below. It's the type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Did we ever do... I know we blocked it. I don't know if we ever stunned it. It wants to protect something but what? Circle around and use a shield. I think that's kind of what we did beneath the earth. Beneath the earth are many scary places, be sure to take a lantern. Below the fortress is a cave. One key to a shadow oubliette is guarded by the last great machine of war. When the siege was done, the beast was coaxed into this lonely purpose. So is a story that this is the first, the air that we free, we fight, is the first air, is it? The first one's sealed away. Because what happens, it says there's an endless cycle, but who restarts? restarts this machine every time or is it like a new world every time I, or like when we take the air's place it like resets everything I, I don't really understand the mechanics of it custodians caretakers of vault who have learned some magic candles can be put out I don't even know how you, you do that spy out and suffer act don't be fooled mark and back is a trick those in the fortress do not know the secrets of prayer use your knowledge wisely and who knows what you'll find that's true so true um 
ruined at all. Under the library is a skeleton of a great abbey that served others as its annex. Once some, once some others made this their home and built on the ruins. Only Flora and Fauna live here now, but the frogs may be on patrol. Summoning a library path means venerating to the four corners, so take a knee. Friendly bird that loves to eat slorms. Hasha. Crabbo Crabbit. Crabbo has a hard shell, but Crabbit has pals. Envoy. More questions than answers. It's true. Not sure if we had got any answers, Envoy. Instead of training, take turns. Attack three times. Baby slums can not spin yet, but still useful. Growing up to the hook on my tongues. Rotate it around the forbidden axis and partially summon a, dis a disquiet being. Rotate the forbidden... Odd door. Rotate it around a forbidden axis. What does that even mean? That's probably like a secret or something. Many have sought the secrets of this world, drawn by the great power and other secret legends. The librarian has learned much, including powerful sorcery. He makes his home high above the clouds, waiting for foolish rune seekers to bring him more pages. Ah. Although powerful, his tragedy is belief that the Holy Cross resides in the cathedral. He will never visit the far shore. I see. Have there been any other successful ruin seekers to take down the air? Obviously none have break broken the cycle, but have any continued the cycle apart from this one? Maybe. I must have. Or do they all get stopped at a certain point and we're the only ones to make it to the end? Boss of a scavengers will stop at nothing to obtain the blue. She has long known that it lies in the rooted ziggurat, but has only en now entered its depths. It cost many lives, but any price would be acceptable. Who wrote this book? I thought this was meant to be passed on knowledge from previous heirs, but if how does it have current knowledge that she's only now just entered this? I'm, I don't understand. <laughs> Reading this in, um, in English instead of runic has raised more questions than answers. Um, rifle bell also got parts, but can only shoot once. Scavengers will, with this will try and keep a distance. Minus great sword. Beefy scavengers use this crack open odd architecture and you. Bombs. Watch out for miners who use these. So you try not to hurt their allies, but accidents happen all the time. Monastery. Once a place of worship for the gods thought to live beneath the earth, it was abandoned when the cathedral's influence reached its peak. A cavity. Exposed fossil that has dented a patch of local truth out of a canonical plane. So this prismatic plasma stuff is truth quote quote of a canonical plane being there it does not hurt but it doesn't still a terrible feeling of hopelessness rooted cigarette a house of strained gods exposed by erosion and greed gotten powerful but we use a lot of magic savvy explorers have been known to quest for this soon after their arrival i see achievement lower miasma of miasma that's it the bottom of a crow will sap your will to go on unless precautions are taken were there rumors that the air is poison misunderstood because of this miasma so if it's miasma it holds the truth I don't I don't understand the law of tunic. I think I understand it even less. Fleemers equipped in various ways their flesh may be stripped away, but their will to fight is strong. A disquiet fragment who lives in a skull and wants to taste everything? Friend. Lost echo. An echo self from a past rune seeker whose owner gave up. Watch and listen closely and release it from its agony. So if, it, if these are bad endings or ones have grown up uh, given up because we've seen hold on, we've seen a lot of our rune seekers in the ghostly realm. But they've not given up, I guess. The zone is extremely dangerous, the best left alone, even if you're feeling brave. Only ghosts are permitted to enter the inner grounds. Around the cathedral is a wasteland of graves. Those who had remained to the very after the final battle are laid here, but many are not at rest. What was the final battle? Final battle against the machines? I need to, like, watch a video on the law. I don't understand. The sound of chanting in the air, air? I guess because air and air sound the same written down, or look the same written down. A large chamber of incense activated by 10. And to eastern rooms, a group of lost friends cover the elixir, the baptismal front, upper balcony opposite view of the main hall. In the library, there's a double secret, a rough hewn passage. The moonlight bridge blocks access to a treasure. Okay, we probably should have done the translation first. That would have been very useful to know. Um, the chalice vessel the chalice slash vessel so the vessel is yeah the, the one like on the crucifix device to power lift three lift shaft rune chamber has checkpoint gauntlet with six challenges legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary far short shadow oubliette ah so the shadow oubliette is the prison that the hit of the air is in a key is no mere toy seat of the air stolen device Uh, 
power things that have your power you shut up yourself and false gifts have no effect with hero relic attuned to a memory of yourself instead of a pale retelling and that's why you have a stats and a fast shore still how does a rune seeker become a hero seek a uh, prey to visit the hero's grave and claim your heroic past well it's not your heroic past but someone else's heroic past which you are i suppose continuing onwards rune seeker begins to understand the holy cross yes it's the pad that was a good discovery um, hidden secrets, much as hidden was wild, bamboo power of holy cross. Proves of those. Sorry if I'm sort of like mumbling. I'm not like reading it properly. I'm, I'm finding I'm getting very, like, <laughs> I've, I've done so many recordings. I've spoken so much today that my, my, my mouth is like building up with saliva as I'm speaking. <laughs> it's sort of mildly exhausting me in a sense. Um, Proves of those who gave, who gave of their core that you know of it deeply. Open vaults left, otherwise, free for souls that stay behind to guide um, you and receive a gift. So the fairies are souls left behind, which are different from the echoes of self, <laughs> somehow. Um, Monolith over while clearing the game. Take your rightful place, extinguish a beacon's last spark, and become a fresh martyr. Courage that is untempered by kindness risks eating itself forever. Hmm. I mean, this hints, seems to me like it, you would have had like a choice to either slay the air or not slay the air. Because <laughs> it would be courage that is risk, untempered by risk, by kindness risk is eating itself wherever, like mercy or not mercy. And being merciful or something means that you take its place. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm just reading into it too much or seeking an end. Share your wisdom. Wisdom that is untempered by kindness is no wisdom at all. Be free. Wisdom that is untempered by kindness is no wisdom at all. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the golden path. I'm not really sure what it's saying there. Wisdom that is untempered by kindness is not wisdom at all. So we're saying the things that we share is not tempered by kindness. So it's not like got like hints of kindness weaved in. Unless untempered means something different. Define untempered. not moderated or lessened yeah so it's not restricted by kindness i suppose so it's the harsh truth fairy souls are tucked away in all corners of the world they lock themselves in gold boxes awaiting clever rune seekers who know power of holy cross they wait for a particular song listen for it eternally oh my word seeking spell look around to find a secret spell hidden in the world tiny phosphorus that can be drawn along with small part of a local truth a real various created nest Tiny false fairies will be drawn along the small fold of local truth. So us doing the seeking spell summons these false fairies, which will be drawn towards where the real fairies' nest is. Is that what it means? Secret gathering place. Where do we go? Find a special location. With the final treasure and will only give it up when a certain number of their friends are freed. Caustic light. Maze invisible. Hmm. The golden path of a greatest spell. It should be. It should say here the greatest song, seeing as he got the whole unsing business with Dawn of the Mountains. Raise attack when low in health. Raise defense when low in health. Yes. All HP become mana. We know that. We never got this one. Movement speed is increased. Stamina recovery is increased. Oh, okay. So that's not actually. I thought this increased the efficacy of items. <laughs> um, doubles invincibility time during do dodge rolls. That would have been amazing. Attacks decreased, defense decreased. Yeah, we, we figured that one out. Reduced stamina loss on blocking. Lucky cup. Enemy detection range is decreased. Echo soul explosion damage and radius are greatly increased. Uh, magic dagger cast time is reduced. <laughs> that's what dagger strat does? It's got nothing to do with swinging the sword. I guess that makes sense. Okay, that's so funny. I had this equipped basically for the entire run. <laughs> and I, I basically never used Magic Dagger. <laughs> um, I, I, probably, I probably didn't even notice it get faster, <laughs> which is crazy. Retrieving Echo Soul restores some MP. Okay. So, uh, sword ignites enemy, but HP runs one. Parry timing window is slightly increased. The parry tap shield. I don't think we ever parried correctly. To retain letters from us. Okay, so 
This is an instructional booklet theoretically from the creators of a game in some weird sort of meta sense, which is in the game, right? <laughs> so this is them talking to us rather than talking to like the hero, I think. Okay, if it, now I know what these all do. I definitely would have used Anklet, Perfume, Bone, and probably Lucky Cup and Muffling Bell. But if I was in a fight, I guess I wouldn't use these two. I would have used... I don't know. I, I guess I probably would have stuck with Dagger Strap and maybe like Bracer or something. I don't really know. Memo, memo. Phonetic characters. Can you solve it too? I did. Uh, for additional support and secrets, find some rare golden statues. Traverse the, glo the glow to visit 12 strange beings. Unsing to them the greatest song. The song of a golden path is seen from within. That was very confusing, but we did it. It was just some code. Under the moon. Contemplate this prayer near an ancient tomb plundered for its blade lies a special place i don't know what this code means but i guess that's another secret it's another secret that we won't find out i'm gonna be honest wow that's crazy um i actually feel more confused i think reading us then <laughs> not reading us to a certain degree so this instructional bullet in the canon of a game is given to us by the developers who create the game and in the game that some of them are aware of like the planar dissonance that they have and where they exist i don't know why it's not loading anymore but oh i'll pause and refresh hold on while that's loading in i don't know if i understand the law i think that's something i'm gonna to have to read for myself <laughs> for someone who has interpreted it better than i have but that was an interesting read it's it's interesting to basically how explicitly all the secrets are laid out but of course they're all hidden behind the runic language or the tunic language so of course you're never going to find them i suppose like that well, I suppose with that, this is our final farewell to Tunic, you know? We'll keep it on the air. The air, the air, the air, the air is cool, you know? What a cool final fight. What a fantastic game, can I just very much say. <laughs> if it wasn't clear enough, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Tunic. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, I guess this is our final farewell to Tunic, you know? I mean, if it... it, it I don't know what, what else to say. Oh, yeah, I guess if, you, if you're curious about my thoughts on Tunic, I will probably break it down. Um... In an Animal Crossing episode, it'll be called Tunic. It'll be uploaded. It'll be, probably be day, like, what day am I on? 1,201, I think? Is that the day I'm on? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, but on that note, I suppose for our final time, if you've been watching the series, thank you very much for your support throughout this entire endeavour. This has been Tunic, and I've been Dear Darling, so any likes, comments, subscription shares are greatly appreciated. Uh, my socials and Discord are down below, and I hope we can see each other again on whatever our next story will be. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. Or oh, forever. I wonder if I should give a hint on what our next thing will be. <laughs> I guess it's not set in stone, but I think it's got a very unique art style, and it's an older game this time, but we'll see. Um, if it, it might not even end up being that, so, who? Anyway, bye-bye, bye-bye for now. <laughs>